Chris Roberts and his CIG staff is responsible for a lot of things. It's like you you in the Guinness Book of World Records twice. Yeah. You you are the highest crowdfunding game in gaming history. Yeah. And you had a name for yourself with, with in the movie industry and in the in the video game industry so your name is well known and you go put your name on, on star citizen and you screw this up yeah that one come be on man it, yeah no that that would be a very that you will he would definitely have to run and hide under a rock <laughs> yeah <laughs> he Robbie has a lot on the line for, on this where all right so in a box in uh Lancer was an incomplete project that harmed Chris Roberts' name. Yeah, Chris Roberts doesn't, he he has to make this successful. He has to redeem himself from that too. Um, but does Chris, uh, Inbox says, but does Chris Roberts care if it fails considering he made close to no, half a billion? Doesn't. No, he wouldn't necessarily care. Mm -hmm. and, and not 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 in the sense of what, how we think, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he, would, he would care because of the fact that he is an, uh, a perfectionist. Chris Roberts yeah. is a perfectionist. And yeah. he would care on the sense of he did something that he didn't complete. That would bother him. Yeah. I believe that would bother him. Yeah. But would he to care? Would he not care or care in the way that, no, he wouldn't. Yeah, the way we understand it, no, he wouldn't. But the problem yeah. with perfectionists, though, is he might wind up like the Brock Group Boston, <laughs> where the production company had to sue him because he couldn't put out an album because he was such a perfectionist. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. Damn. I mean, his, his yeah. reputation is already not good from, you know. He just pissed uh, off everybody, too. Yeah, no. Yeah. He's he's pretty good at pissing people off. Like <laughs> he should probably have that on his resume if he ever tries to get another job. <laughs> and oh, my man. thing is that you know, is it is Chris Rod. He he was the one who put out the first initial announcement and he set the tone for the development. Mm -hmm. But what happened to all the rest of them? What happened to Tony Zervik? What happened to Aaron Roberts? When the last mm -hmm. time we heard from them? They don't make no appearance at all. Right. Hmm. Well, I thought we uh Tony Z we had a video from him recently. Um like about a, six months ago during the summer, I think. Uh yeah, yeah, Breaking yeah. Down Once content. every half a year. Yeah. yeah <laughs> that's yeah. that's when we hear from him. And we're even on, those it's on guarded. Time now. Hmm. All right, so Mr. Grown Man says, this is just my opinion, but I think a lot of the community is overreacting. CIG has to be the best when it comes to communicating to gamers out of any alpha um, I've supported. I've supported alpha games where the devs would hardly give you any answer and tell you it's an alpha. They don't have to tell you any, every, they don't have to tell you everything. Yeah. Yes, but those yeah, games, right. those good. games, those games, you're not investing thousands of dollars in the future. Right, right. right. The, your, your public, the publishers I mean, you are know, the like, ones. Uh, CIG, they're pretty good at communicating um, stuff that will make you pay more money. They're pretty good at communicating like <laughs> stupid ideas and dreams that'll get you to buy more ships and no, cut no, the steals. No, no. They're pretty good at doing that. Um, they're not very good at communicating what's actually happening in their company or how development's actually going. And they're also pretty good at, about communicating how they feel about the community and how they like legitimately hate the community because according to them, our feedback is slowing them down. So I, I would agree with you that they are pretty good at communicating, but not about the actual state of the game or the development or the company itself. Uh, I wasn't yeah. going to say it quite like that, but... <laughs> he, he, he's, he he's, he's right. Out. He's right. <laughs> he's right. Can't argue with that. 
Can't argue with that, man. It, it's you know what, man. Yeah, when it comes to ships, when it comes to ship sales, they're 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 on the dime. Okay. Yeah, they they do yeah. everything in their power to make sure you know a ship sale is out. But yeah. when it comes down to like changes and things being held back, and they they no nah, they they keep stuff on hush hush. Yeah. Like the the only time we got a squadron 42 trailer that was what four four years ago mm, that was an and and, and the, uh the, the brother he he's he's right they don't have to tell you anything but see mm. but that's not the the culture that the relationship between cig and the community had created the culture between that was created was that CIG and the community would be in open communi communication while mm -hmm. the game is in development, live development. That was the the that was the pitch, the original pitch that Chris Roberts has stated. He said that right. he wants to develop the game and allow the community to play it as it's being developed, so that they can put give their feedback give their opinions and whatever that they don't like or whatever that they like then this is how CIG will move accordingly that mm. was the relationship yeah yeah that's true they, they did set the tone from the beginning like that I completely agree you know so they um, yeah I see you they just have to keep up with that they just have to you know I don't know like they they do a they, they don't they don't do a good job at communicating about things like pyro and I mean like we thought we were gonna get pyro awesome, like dude. three four years ago you know I feel like we were supposed to get that a long time ago and then it's like they changed well, stop. Stop. the scale of the game you know so many times yeah so 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 many times your ship like just take every, damage i don't know every year that they had a citizen con they were showing us a different star citizen yeah you know yeah which wasn't which wasn't a bad thing because of the fact that we paid for it like yeah. we don't care give 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 us a star citizen give us a, a living breathing universe why mm -hmm. because we paid for it we 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 want it to be good mm -hmm. we want it to be good we want it to be spectacular we want it to be in in awe we do mm -hmm. that's what we paid for but but don't treat us like we don't have a say so in the matter if you do things that we don't like for you to do right that's all we're saying it's like well okay yes we don't have we don't mind buying ships but don't make us feel guilty by by not buying ships when you want us to buy when you want us to buy right give give us something give us give us an incentive don't just give us all see we we fixed the 40k thing <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's yeah. no that's not enough you we sat in 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 stanton for 10 years gentlemen bro 10 years yeah. yeah that's yeah. true that is true and you want us to to not say what something her? about this in the boston says four years ago <laughs> wow, it's been that long. I'm not excited for Squadron 42 any longer. Bro, like, Squadron 42, nah. man. Come on, man. Like, they, they're taking way too long to just come up yep. with a first release. Like, I mean, like, drop the first game, and then we know you're going to develop a second one. You know, and like, just drop it. there's also a third. Yeah, so, like, what's taking Squadron so long to just drop the a, first one? It's a three-part title. Yeah. I mean, like, drop the first one. Th that's it. And then... Uh, and then improve upon it as you progress. You know what I mean? You don't have to make it perfect the first time. You know, I mean, you're, you're already, something. yeah, like they're already like 
they're already um what's what's the word they, they're already doing better than what the industry is doing right they already have things that like there's only like there's no other game out there that uh we can do in star city you know what i mean so like you've already accomplished some things so you don't oh. have to i don't you know man, one, right? 